Greetings my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and today I am taking you through my Costco cart for March, showing you all of the things that I got that was on sale. A lot of good sales this month by the way. I'm excited to show you everything that I've picked up and I also the price is a little bit higher this month because my husband had some things on his list that he wanted me to get for him. So hence why it's a little bit more pricey this month. But let me get right into it and show you everything. Wine, okay, so I have been loving Kirkland's blend wine and lo and behold, they had nothing. And I should have guessed that last month when I picked a couple bottles up, it didn't look like it was being restocked. I should have grabbed extra. I didn't, but I wanna try this. This is a box wine. It is a, just a regular cab, but there are, I believe three, Oh, there are four bottles of wine in this box, so I am kind of excited to give this a try. And it does say it stays fresh for uh, up to 30 days after opening, so that's perfect. That should be no problem whatsoever, and the price was right for that. I was beyond thrilled to see this on sale this month. I was trying to go to, to Costco earlier in the month of March, but I was looking at the sales booklet, and this was on sale beginning like March 8th, so I, I held off as long as I could. So I I grabbed two of them. I may go back to get extra because these are absolutely delicious. These are the cleanest marinara sauces on the market in my opinion. Also, they are a little bit more pricey, but if you can catch them when they're on sale, it is a great deal. So I'm stocking up here. Okay, so this back here, I need to pull this out. I was very highly suspect of this. This is organic or extra virgin olive oil. Now, this was actually cheaper than the conventional regular like 100% extra virgin olive oil from Kirkland. I'm not that familiar with ver um, extra virgin olive oils, so if you can tell me why this would be cheaper than just the regular conventional one. It's literally the, the exact same amount and it was but I have no idea. So if you guys are familiar with olive oils, can you guys please clue me in as to why the organic was cheaper than the conventional? Eggs, we're still doing good on prices at eggs. Are eggs going down in your area? I'm not sure. I think they're still kind of high-ish around here in Central California. However, at Costco, the price is still very, very good for five dozen eggs, so I picked one of the cartons up. Coffee was also on sale this month, so I grabbed two whole bean Starbucks French roast blends. Okay, so I mentioned that my husband had a few things on his list, so a few things meant a couple things of alcohol. So he is going on a guy's trip to Vegas, and if you've ever been to Vegas, you, you know how expensive drinks can be. So. Purchasing your own alcohol this way, checking it in your luggage, just wrapping it really good like in clothes. It'll keep, trust me, we have done this before. We've done it with beer. We've done it with alcohol like this to Florida. So do not fear about that. This is honestly the way to do it. So I picked up some Tito's vodka for him. The price, you guys, is phenomenal versus if you got it like at BevMo or at Target, you get uh, quite a bit. This is 1.75 liters. So quite a bit in here for a great price. I did just decide to pick up one bottle of wine. I saw that it was, I think this was on sale. So I wanted to try it, but I also love the bottle. Like that grabbed me the most. It's very like Great Gatsby-ish to me. I don't know. So I liked it. It's a cab right up my alley. I also picked up some Four Roses uh, bourbon for him. Is this bourbon, I think, or whiskey? Bourbon whiskey, okay. I don't know the difference, but that's what he wanted. So some Four Roses to make old fashions in his room. And then some gin. And I'm thinking he might take this with him. If not, we can replenish um, what we have here at our little tiny bar that we have in our home. So behind this, we have Siete chips. You guys, I have been looking every month for Siete tortilla chips. It has been, I think, maybe four to five months since I've seen it. So I did grab one bag of tortilla chips because I still have about maybe three quarters of a bag left of tortilla chips in our pantry. So just kind of restocking, but I got excited, so I had to get it. And some more chips back here. I always like to have some type of chips for my kids' lunches or crackers or something. So I did get the Kettle Brand Crinkle Cut Himalayan Salt Chips. These are awesome. And the bag is massive. You can't really tell, but it's wedged in there. Huge, huge bag for a great price. And sitting right in front is my all-time favorite, favorite snack to get from Costco, the Chomps Sticks. You get 12 Chomp Sticks in a bag, which which means that the price is, I don't know, I'll put that on the, street, on the screen for you. It's like a dollar something per 
stick, which is a lot cheaper than buying it like a la carte at Target or at Trader Joe's. So this is the way to go. I have completely depleted all of our fish from the freezer. So I did pick up some salmon a few days ago. I used our last salmon filet to make some lunch. I posted that actually on my Instagram, which by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram yet and you have an Instagram account, definitely go over there and follow me. Say, hey, say I'm following you from the Costco haul just so I know where you came from. That would be awesome. I also picked up some frozen cod. So like I mentioned, I have no fish in my freezer and I needed to pick some up. I oh, This is like honestly one of the easier meals to make is if you have frozen fish because they defrost super, super fast. Also, I have a fish taco recipe coming out on my blog here very, very soon. It is so, so yummy. I made it a few nights ago. So be on the lookout for that. I will post the link down below once it goes live. I did not forget about you guys over here. Some avocados. You guys, the price of avocados went down at Costco. I could not believe it. So they're usually like hanging around like eight to ten dollars for five to six, but now they're like six dollars. So that is a great price for humongous avocados. And these are always very, very good. All right, some snacks. Let's talk about snacks for my kids. Usually I like to get the pre-packaged trail mix. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I do have a lot of little snack baggies here at home. So I'm just gonna do a little pre-portioned trail mix for them. So I'll just make my own. Plus I can make um, them as little or as much as I want to make in those little bags. Some more protein. I do have the three pack of the ground beef and in each of these little packages of ground beef, you get 1.34 pounds of ground beef. And for us, this right here, one package is good for my family of five with sometimes a little leftovers depending on what I'm making, like taco meat or something. Some chicken breast. Now you get six pouches of chicken breast and usually within each little pouch, there's either two breast or like one massive breast. So what I do is I just stick this whole thing in the freezer just like this. Now these can be cut into little portions. Do not do it right now. I know you're like, if you're trying to be organized, you wanna go right ahead and cut it, but do not do that, trust me. They will be, there will be a mess of chicken juice all over the place if you start cutting into it right now. So wait until they're frozen to start cutting. I have two pounds of Brussels sprouts right here. We really love Brussels sprouts. I love to roast them with some honey and some Parmesan cheese, some lunch meat. I decided to go with the Black Forest ham. Okay, I have a question for you guys. If you guys ever get the turkey, like the Kirkland brand turkey, just like this, do you guys ever have difficulty trying to like peel apart the turkey slices? I don't know what's going on but the past few months the turkey has been really difficult to just like peel off like usually you know you can peel off some ham and you get like a slice but with the turkey it's like I'm getting three half slices of turkey so it's really weird so I don't know what's going on but I wanted to switch it up and get some black forest ham this stuff is great for my kids lunches for wraps and sandwiches I got a 48 ounce container of Greek yogurt I always love to get this yogurt this is really the only Greek yogurt um, plain Greek yogurt that they have at Costco that I like. I love making yogurt parfaits. I make my own granola so that I just top it off with some granola and some berries and maybe like a little drizzle of honey just to make my own yogurt bowl and that's filling enough for breakfast or a snack. I have two things of milk back here and each package of milk you get two gallons. So I picked up a bunch of whole milk. We are out of yo of the Go-Gurts, so I got some of the Go-Gurts. Now in here you get strawberry and mixed berry. There are 32 pouches in here. And what I do, because I didn't realize this was a, this was a thing, I will take a handful of these Go-Gurts and I will stick them in the freezer. My kids like the frozen yogurt taste of it. So I never thought about that. My oldest son is the one that actually told me about it. So he is on the trends for sure. I did get a box of honey bunches of oats with almonds. These were on sale. These make good snacks or quick breakfast. Although I prefer them to have like an egg or oatmeal or like a French toast, like a homemade French toast or something, but this will do as well. A baggie of spinach. This is, this feels way more than a pound, um, but this is a pound of spinach and this always is great to have on hand not only for protein smoothies but for things like scrambled eggs sandwiches wraps anywhere that you can fit spinach into I always say this sorry if I sound like a broken record but anywhere you can get greens into your diet just stick some spinach in there some limes now this is on my husband's list I of course I'll keep some of these as well but he did want to um, make maybe some type of I'm not sure of like a cranberry vodka with lime juice or 
something. So I got a baggie of limes, a large bag of cuties. This is five pounds worth of cuties. They all look very, very good. Hopefully they taste good because I know sometimes cuties are hit and miss. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. I'm running out of the chocolate chips in my pantry baking area. So this is four and a half pounds of chocolate chips. I know that sounds like, like a lot, because it is a lot, but this is the best way to buy it. It lasts a very long time, plus it comes in a reseal, resealable bag, so you don't have to worry about them like getting dry or anything, but this is way cheaper than getting um, just like the single packages at Winco or Target or Walmart. For the fridge snack drawer, I did get some string cheese to replenish the snack drawer, and I do have a snack video, like an after school snack video for kids if you are interested in that, just showing you different ideas of what you can feed your kids for for snacks for after school. I have some baby carrots right here. You get two packages of baby carrots and each package is two pounds. So this is four pounds in total. These are on the smaller side, which I am so, so happy about. Another great sale is the mini non. So in here you get 18 mini nons. And I mean, they're mini, but the size of them, they're not bad. They're about a hand, my hand's length. Um, so these go straight into the freezer. These defrost quickly and they heat up in minutes in the oven. I have pretty much no sauerkraut left in my fridge and I've really been trying to incorporate more pro natural probiotic food into our diets such as like kimchi, um, pickles. I know like the refrigerated pickles are a good way to get probiotics too, but sauerkraut is another good one. I should try making my own sauerkraut someday. It sounds very like intense. If you've ever made sauerkraut, let me know. It sounds... It sounds fun, I think. Does that sound fun? Or maybe I'm just boring, I don't know. Back here, I do have a box of Wheat Thins. A bag of this is gonna go with my husband for his trip, just for in-room snacks, of course. I did get some butter because I have to get butter every month. I love to bake and cook. So yes, I did get chomps, but my husband wanted like this type of bag to share with his friends. So this is a variety pack. This was on sale. It was a good sale too. You get six original flavors and then six teriyaki flavor. Back here are some sweet and chewy granola bars. This is the Kirkland brand granola bar. This is just to replenish the snack pantry area. In front here is my favorite favorite jam if I ever see it at Costco I will always get it because sometimes you just never know with Costco if they're gonna keep it next month or not but this is the Bon Maman four fruits preserve and I love this for my kids peanut butter and jellies but I like to use this stuff too for my thumbprint cookies now I just came out with a cherry and almond thumbprint cookie recipe but of course you can use any type of preserve or jam you want four fruits is gonna be awesome on top of that cookie I'm gonna make some for my um, husband's co-workers so so that's coming up soon because I love to bake and I love to hand out anything and everything I make. I like to share. Sharing is caring. I needed to get some honey. I just came out with a what's for dinner video where I was struggling with the bottle of honey that I had on hand because it was at the very bottom. But I was really hoping they were gonna have the local honey. Last time it said Central Valley because that's where I live. I live in the Central Valley of California. Um, but this just says the US. So not particularly local but it is what it is for, for now. All right, so a few Costco hauls ago, I asked about the Kirkland brand laundry detergent and people seem to have good reviews, good things to say about it. I've never tried it. So in here you get 146 loads worth. So I'm very excited to try it. That's how you know when you're an adult, when you're excited to try a different laundry detergent. Restocking our pantry with the snacks. I have some applesauce pouches. My daughter is finally getting into applesauce. I have some thick cut bacon. In. So in here you get two packages, so quite a bit in here. One of these packages is going to go right into the freezer and then the other one will be in the fridge. I have some Baby Bella mushrooms, the whole ones. They're 20, it's 24 ounces, so it's all quite a bit. But we really enjoy mushrooms and I'm very thankful my kids do too. And how I convinced them to like mushrooms was I told them, you know, Mario, what does he eat to get bigger? And they were like, mind blown when they figured out mushrooms made him bigger. So now they start eating mushrooms, they love them. I always like to get like the broccoli or the cauliflower florets from Costco whenever they have them. This is 48 ounces, it's a huge bag, 
but not only do we use these for dinners, I like to put little florets into my kids' lunches too. Some very, very green bananas. This was like the yellowest I could find that they had there, so I didn't get two bunches. I just wanted to get the one because that means they were all gonna ripen at the same time. So I just got that. Some raspberries, and then whenever I am done with this video, these berries along with the strawberries, which I guess I'll just talk about right now too, these are gonna go all into mason jars. So you don't even rinse them, you just put them straight away into mason jars, do not do anything. And then when you go to serve and eat the fruit, you just give them a good rinse and they're ready to go. I have some English cucumbers. These always come in a three pack and these always are great for my kids' lunches. And the price is so, so good at Costco for these. I have a three pound bag of organic blueberries. These are gonna go great into smoothies or you can add them into like oatmeal in the mornings or something and they'll defrost really, really quick. Some cotton candy grapes. Oh my gosh. So originally Originally, I picked up like just regular purple grapes and then I turned the corner and boom, there they were. These guys are so delicious. Um, they're supposed to be for my kids' lunches, but I do eat quite a bit of them. They are absolutely phenomenal. Some fabric softener um, to go along with my detergent, of course. But now I'm wondering, do they make Kirkland deter um, fabric softener? I didn't even think to look. If they do and you like, and you guys like the fabric softener Kirkland brand, let me know. And then the very last thing I have back here is the Franz 100% whole wheat bread. I always get this bread. In each package, you get two large loaves of bread, but this is four pounds of bread right here. I got two of them. So this whole thing is gonna go into my freezer and then I will keep one of the loaves out to make sandwiches with. All right, my friends, we got through it. That was a doozy. But if you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really, really appreciate your support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.